Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of cookies danced in their heads. But while the children slept, the North Pole was a bustle. With so many presents to pack, Santa needed to hustle. Santa was busy double-checking his list to make sure that Juliet, Delphine, Celeste, Theo, Rowan, and Conrad would not be missed. With the sled finally loaded and reindeers ready to fly, it was time for Santa to bid Mrs. Claus goodbye. Now let me fix that hat and take a good look at you. And before leaving, maybe you should have a big poo? Oh, that's all right, Mrs. C. I don't need to go. And with that, he hopped in his sled with a big ho, ho, ho. Santa first flew to Australia, then Japan, then Bombay, helping himself to lots of milk and cookies along the way. Soon he was stuffed, eating more than he could carry. Santa's tummy, all of a sudden, wasn't feeling quite so merry. Now you can guess what Santa needed to do. That's right, poor old Santa needed a poo. But where was Santa supposed to go? By a snowman? Down the chimney? Underneath the mistletoe? Then Santa looked down on his face a big frown, for his bright red suit had suddenly turned brown. He stopped his sleigh and with a horrified glance, Santa Claus had pooped his pants. But there was no time to waste. There was still gifts to deliver. So he threw his clothes in a sack and started to shiver. Then grabbed two presents and down the chimney he popped. But as he reached the Christmas tree, Suddenly, he stopped. Standing in the doorway, much to his surprise, stood two little children with wide open eyes. They shouted, Santa! Faces full of delight. Father Christmas in his birthday suit. What an unexpected sight. Santa explained what had happened. Oh, that's okay, they said. Now let's find you some clothes that you can wear instead. Mummy has these old clothes she was going to donate. But you best hurry up, Santa. It's getting quite late. A pair of flip-flops and a sparkly dress. A hat covered in flowers. What a glorious mess. You look beautiful, Santa. That outfit suits you. Santa blushed just a little. Do you really think so? We do! Santa thanked his helpers, for they'd save Christmas Eve. He gathered his sack. It was time to take leave. With nice clean clothes, he ran to his sleigh. And as he left, the children heard him say, Merry Christmas to you all, and to all a good night. Next time my bladder won't be so tight. Merry Christmas, everybody. We love you very, very much. Bye.